Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right. So that will be a um, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well uh, Leo Rising a weekly tarot, monthly tarot reading, excuse me, for a uh, August 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are to jump straight away uh, into the reading. So, uh, the first card which stands for the topic of uh, Leo Mont, this is going to be the Two of Pentacles. Followed by the second card which stands for the uh, peripheral activities that you Leo can go for, should you decide that um, <clears throat> it's worth it. This is going to be the Six of Cups. Afterwards, uh, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the month and that is going to be the Three of Cups. Followed by the third, the fourth card, excuse me, which stands for the positive aspect of the month. Very bizarre that we do have the world card here. That completely changes the reading. Oh my God. Yeah. And then the last one uh, that it is the guidance the tarot is offering to you. We do have the magician. So basically what this card, what this reading screams for and uh, ululates for, it's that you need to aim high. Okay, we need to find a way how you can reach a high goals, high high standpoints, you know, and, and in general uh, to surpass your expectations for throughout the month of August 2019. So that being said, going with the first card, which stands for the very topic itself, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. So what, the part, so what the card points here is that you will have to abandon your plans, your original plans. That is for the reason being is that there are going to be too many variables, all right, that you will have to take under consideration, which you can't because they are obviously variables. So what happens here with the two of pentacles is that there are going to be quite a lot of minor changes in regards to your plan. Luckily for you, there are going to be a beneficial changes, which is described by the world card in a positive position, right? Uh, and um, that's why you need to let go of fixed ideas because you are going to have a lot of things to adapt to your goal or to uh, your plan in regards to how you are to reach a certain goal, being with a certain person, establishing your marriage, improving your marriage, being successful into your career, and etc. etc. The point with the month of August is that you need to be extremely adaptable. It is just what the month demands on you, all right? And only through being playful with the circumstances and with the means which are coming in your way, only then you are going to be able to um, attend and perform flawlessly in every single field of your life. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of uh, Wands formation. It is a, a passive neutrals. <clears throat> 
So uh, what the Six of Wands here points to the Two of Pentacles is that um, a victory is not necessarily a, a victory. What I mean is that while one thing looks appealing to you, probably this this time around is going to be more strategically advantageous, you know, to throw your efforts into a, a different um, different direction, which does not mean such, which does not look, excuse me, so beneficial, but in the same time is going to provide you with a, with a strategic standpoint um, for you to take advantage on later as you are attacking the peak, the very summit, you know, of, uh, of your expectations. So simply put, these couple of cards here points that the victory or rather like the success does not reside only into one direction. And there is definitely a, a better way, more cost efficient way, you know, and more um, easier way for you to reach up your goal. Um, the next card that we do have, it is the Six of Cups, which points to the peripheral activities, and this card points to hobby, all right? So you can definitely, throughout the month of August, indulge with your hobbies, whatever the hobby is, all right? For me, uh, my hobby is playing video games, all right? So if I were Leo, that card screams to me that there are going to be a bunch of good video games coming around, you know, and I will have the time to do so. And you definitely are going to have the same time, right? Like you are going to have the time to do whatever you like throughout the month of August and to feel yourself very, very creative um, as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the Emperor. So that is just a confirmation how lighthearted those activities are going are going to be. And no demand on a um well, they're gonna be undemanding. Let me tell you what I mean. So there are activities which demand a consistent performance throughout the week or throughout the day. It is like, you know, for example, dogs, okay? So you have to take your dog on a walk every morning and every evening, let's say that way. So that is a time demanding. Now, these um, hobbies here or these activities are going to be very enjoyable, very, exhilarat very exhilarating, and in the same time, ain't going to be time demanding. So you can get to them whenever you like, and you can abandon them whenever you like as well. Additionally to that, these uh, couple of cards may point to a, um, a spontaneous flirting with no obligations whatsoever. They could point to a friends with benefits type of a relationship should a relationship is going to be uh, any kind of, you know, physical uh, connection is going to be your goal as a peripheral thing, you know, not very important for you and uh, such presented, they could very well mean that. So that leads us to the third card here, uh, Leo, which is the challenges that you need to overcome. Three of Cups. <laughs> uh, it's, that is a difficult card to interpret as the next one. Follow up, which is the positive aspect. It is the uh, World card. So the Three of Cups here points that uh, as a challenge is that you will have to take two steps for the straight of one. OK, so in other words, in some of your endeavors, in some of your undertakings, you will have to take a necessary risk moving on forward, especially having these uncertainties throughout the month, which are going to make your plans, your strategies to uh, readapt on a daily basis. Additionally to that, the Three of Cups does point that it is very unlikely that you're going to face not understanding, but let's say a, a mental support through other people, meaning that no one can really give you a, a good advice in regards to your situation, into your marriage or into your career, how to cope with it. I mean, you have to find it through your own analytical mind and a ability to adapt accordingly to the situation. The accompanied card here is going to be the Knight of Cups formation, passive supporters. <clears throat> So uh, we do have a glimpse of jealousy here, all right, among those people of the Tree of, uh, 
of the Three of Cups because they think that you are way too ahead for the efforts that you have placed. So in other words, there will be uh, people around you which think that you do not deserve the opportunities presented in front of you. Those are changes which are allowing you to adapt even better and advantageous strategy in regards to achieving your goal, being successful career, being a uh, happy into your marriage and etc etc. So you need to guard yourself from a uh, nefarious intentions from a close people of yourself, people who seemingly share your vision, all right? But in the same time, they secretly hope that you are to fail along the way. Now, the good thing here is that these people aren't going to make a move, all right? But in the same time, you can't really count on them to help you if you are in trouble. And then we go to the next card, which stands for the positive aspect. And this is going to be the world card. So should you... Uh, straight instead of walk in the direction of your goal whatever that goal is the world here point that you are going to finalize it throughout the month of um, august the world points that you are to reach a um a conclusion all right or a closure of a, a very important endeavor of your life a very important under undertaking that took a such a long time for you to reach up until this point and now, in the month of August, it is time for you to think what, what happens next, all right? Where am I to go next? So it's like we here we do have the ending and the beginning of a, a very long, uh, the ending of a very long road and the beginning of a new one. <clears throat> and with all these uh, uncertainties and, and, and kind of like a, a means to adapt, all right? Um, it's uh, lucky for you, you are having the opportunity to uh, establish a, a very big goal for yourself for the next cycle that you are entering into the months of August. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles formation. It is a, a passive supporter. Once again, what is going on with those supporting cards? I mean, this, this, this month should be very intense in a sense of that a big things are to happen every time when a supporting combo comes around this is like amplification this is like an extraordinary energy coming around and with these couple of cards well first of all the six of pentacles it is a reassurance that you definitely deserve this victory this conclusion you know this closure of of important project of important endeavor into your marriage as well successful closure is what i mean here and um, the idea for what happens next is going to come very very natural to you as well so it is very unlikely that you have to bang your head against the wall to think about what happens next and you are definitely going to have that clamor or rather like clamorous beliefs that you can even sprawl and expand on the current achievements of yours which is a very very great thing should i think about it but the six of pentacles also points that you are going to become extremely creative with uh, with your next agenda and that is very good thing because we do have the last card here is going to be the magician that is the guidance so guidance wise you have to attract followers you also need to work on your personal independence and sovereignty in regards to your next goal meaning that you shouldn't allow anybody to tell you what to do all right that is just should be beyond all comprehension for you uh for you leo you also need to take advantage of exceptionally well polished communicational skills for throughout the month of august to establish good deals good negotiations and to um send your points across although people will disagree with it as we saw or they will seemingly approve it but in the same time they are gonna hope that you are going to uh fail but the magician here preach, uh, preach, excuse me, that should you put an unnecessary determination behind your actions, you are to create something indestructible, as we can see here with the symbol of the infinity. This symbol breeds indestructibility into one's positions and into one's actions as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the nine of pentacles formation. It is a uh, active enemies that we do have so 
this points that you need to take the thing seriously from now on, all right? And now it's not the time for you to jump into a conquests and campaigns and, and uh, how can I place it, leaping forward without, um, without making assumptions how the things are to unfold from now on. Uh, with, uh, with these cards, um, it's definitely you will require followers, you will require supporters. And as we saw that your social circle, the very core of your social circle may hold a grudge towards your success, these couple of cards, at least to me as a follow-up to this reading, speaks that you need to seek a new source of support or to expand your social circle and, uh, you know, the circle of connections that you already have. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading for a uh, August 2019, and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye!